and also we need to dig at least a meter down. So for for this for depths that are less than two kilometers, we have to dig at least a meter or two down, and then we also cover it. So here we had to use divers and barges, and then we also added split pipes on top of it. The split pipes they're actually like metal, like rail. They're very strong to protect the cable on the route because this area we still have uh, uh, any ships, but they all the merchant all the ships that go to the old port so they still cross here but they are not really a big threat is the entire cable that only is one yes. on top of the surface of the, of the for sea. for this for depths of less than two kilometers ah, we bury it down bury. for more than two kilometers we just put Lay it on, on top, top. Yeah, yeah, yeah we normally do it on top of the floor unless we feel there is a threat then we still be at least a meter down or two meters oh, are you able to keep it there uh, there is, there is, the, 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 the cable ship is a very specialized ship and it does all that work. Uh, that, that's why when, when we were delayed for 55 days, you can imagine we were paying around $130,000 to keep the ship per day, whether you use it or you don't use it. So 55, 55 days when we had the ship here in Mombasa, that was an extra cost to Seacom and also we had to make extra and, uh, arrangements for, for security. So I think Peter, uh, I think you'll start from the beach man when it's open. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then let me go with the next one. The other kibbutz are also somewhere here. They're actually uh, at the entrance of Fort Jesus. Okay. Uh, when we are having tea on top here, we'll, we'll show see. you where it's coming yeah. in. Teams and the others. Yeah, they're actually coming together on the same path. Teams and Ewe, they're also landing on the same section. <laughs> <laughs> So what are we seeing now? It's coming. Okay. So make sure you share the photo. Right? Yes, yes, I will. Yeah, I will. Take this. This near that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. If you start touching, okay, guys. Okay. Not like people now. Just come down here. Angalia mbele bus. Ana yo company yo leba. So that guy yo to company for guy. Yo company. You know it eh? This is the leba. The company Kule. was digging which saved people from the tank three, the miner, the three miners. This is the one. This is the one. Yes. Yes. So, so this is the one the yeah. beach man. The what? The beach, the beach man. Uh -huh. Yeah, so the beach man is whereby if you check down there, there is the cable that is coming in from the sea. It's coming from that side. Then it is hooked. We have clamped it. Then now it's coming into this, this box. This box is called a beach joint. In this box we are dividing the fiber cable from the power cable. Because when light travels, it loses its signal strength. So you have to repeat it under the seas. So the equipment that is doing the repetition, we call it uh, the optical amplifier. It is energized. It has to use some power. Yeah? Come again. Oh. <laughs> so, so the amplifier under the sea. You want him to move? Oh. Okay. So what, what I'm saying, this one, we call it the beach manhole. Actually, the work of this beach manhole is to separate the power cable from the, the optical cable when it is going into the building. So it comes in as one cable from the sea. Then when it reaches here, the cable is separated into two. Power cable goes into the building by, by its own path. You can see there, there are two cables. Mm -hmm. The sea cable system and the danger high voltage. So the danger high voltage is carrying power. The sea cable system is the fiber. That is the only cable coming from the sea. Yes, the only cable that one. is coming from the sea. It's oh, one. It's it's one. one. It's there. It's one. Just that. It is one, but it has got six fibers inside it. Six fibers means three fiber pairs. 
a transmitter that receives a transmitter that receives okay. for three countries. Let me just show you the way the pipe is there. Thank you, Ismail. So the one which is the cable, is that one written C cable system? Mm. Yes. Okay. Actually, this is the cable that is going into the sea. This one. That's more. Yes. So these are the fibers. All this one is protected. How many fibers are in here? Six. Six fibers. Six. six. Okay. Yes, six. Three these are from three different countries. Uh -huh. Yes. Each country has one. These ones are single, a single, a single mode fiber. So this is uh, protection? Yes. This one? Is a, we call it double armored SL17 double armored. Yeah. The first armor, mm. this is just protection, yeah. and then the second armor, this is protection. This is also protection. But this one that you're seeing here yeah. is a power conductor. Okay. This is the positive part of DC power that is powering the repeaters. Okay. The negative uh, cable is used as the ground cable. Mm. So the, the the amplifier has got a metallic casing. So when it is dropped into the seat, it makes contact with the seat. And then in the station here, we have dug deep and dropped a, a cable yeah. so that it can be a continuous uh, the return path. Yes, okay. a return path. So we are only sending one conductor into the sea. So it's these copper. are the fibers. This it's is copper. copper, carrying the positive part of power. Mm -hmm. This one can carry a maximum of 5,000 volts as per our equipment that we have inside here. It can pump 5,000 5, volts, yes. Mm -hmm. That is 5 kVA. So in case the, the guys want to cut this cable, mm -hmm. Then what they 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 love to deal with the power first. So, so the power will, will deal with them. Yes. The power will deal with them before they deal with them. <laughs> yeah, it's the other way around. Yes. Yeah. Especially in the water, there will be conductors themselves. So they... <laughs> how does it get cut when it gets okay. cut? Okay, there are there are various folds that we normally get in this cable. The first fold is called a shunt fold. A shunt fold is whereby this metallic part, eh, you know, a ship it uh, it has got very heavy anchor, so you can drop the anchor for the ship and it damages the cable, uh -huh. not necessarily the fibers, but this power cable will have some leakage into the water. So some power will be leaked into the waters. So we call it a shunt fault. So it means the repeaters that is before, or before the, the, the repeater that is after the cut will not get sufficient power. So it will not be able to repeat that signal. So in that case, we will only change the configuration of our system so that the repeater that is after the, the cut can be powered from another country. And then we'll only power the repeater that is before the cut. Yeah. Then communication will continue. But that is a temporary measure. That one is normally done in less than uh, six minutes okay. to do that, yeah. So do you have uh, equipment to tell you the location of the fault? Yes, exactly. We have okay. got equipment that will tell us where the cable is cut. Yes. We can also see there is an equipment that is showing us the power that we normally send on, on, onto the sea. Yes. If we see that there is a change in the voltage, yes. then we'll realize there is a problem. Okay. And of course, the other side will also complain that I'm not getting the signal so from us. Okay. Then we'll exactly know where so the problem we are taking care of. is. Okay. Yeah. So now I've said this is a beach manual. We separate this, this cable, this is the power cable from the fibers. Then they go into the building as two cables. Yeah. Yes, those two cables. The so power and the... The power and the fiber. And the fiber. Yes. Okay. So we'll go into the building so that we can see more from the building. Uh, and the manufacture yes. of this cable. Yes. In what length? Okay. This, this cable is customized for SICOM. That's why it's only three fibers. You can't go into the shop and buy it. It was designed by Taiko Telecommunication. And the Taiko are the ones who have provided us with the equipment, the undersea equipment that we are using. So what they did, they, after the marine survey, this cable is also varying as per what it is laid under the sea. It is not only wholly armored up to where it is ending. Mm -hmm. There are some sections that you don't have the upper armor, this one. Yeah, you only have that, 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 that one. Yes, especially when it is more than one kilometer deep. There are, there are very little chances of even a ship dropping anchor one kilometer deep. That one is into the deep seas. So at that instance, we don't put the second armor. So what capacity are you bringing in now up to Mombasa? Uh, okay, yeah. right now we have got a capacity. We, we can pump up to 64 lambdas. Mm. One lambda is 10, 10, uh, 10 gigabit per second. Okay. So that one is 640 mm. for each of the fiber pairs. For the okay. three fiber pairs. So that yes. is so times can... three now. Yes, you multiply by three. One point nine two or something. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that one is. So uh, this this fiber cable is coming from three different countries. Hmm. The first country is Tanzania. The second country is uh, South Africa. Yeah. Then the third country is Egypt. Okay. So Egypt is connecting the uh, Kenya is connecting the whole of Africa 
to Europe via Egypt. Okay. So all the traffic that are headed to Europe are passing via Kenya. The ones from Tanzania, the ones from uh, uh, South Africa, all of them are coming to Kenya, yeah. then they are taken to Europe. Then uh, we have got all the connections that are going to Asia are passing via Dar es Salaam. So we take our connections that are supposed to be headed to Mumbai and uh, all the, uh, the Asian countries via Dar es Salaam. Yeah, exactly, the yes. repeaters in Russia? The repeaters, they vary. Like in our segment, we have got what we call segments. Segment is separated between a station and what we call a branch unit. So within our segment, we have got a span of 180 kilometers. And within that 180 kilometers, we have got two repeaters. The first repeater, yes. The repeater is designed by the cable. It is part of the cable. If the repeater goes faulty, you have to cut the cable, remove the repeater, put another repeater and splice again. Okay. So it means the system has to be down at that so time. My question was, yes. what is the length of each of the okay. segments? Oh, segment. Of the segments. The, the, I'll show you the in length, the, Before I'll, the repeater. No, the length before you add on to another. Oh, before the repeater. Before the, no, not even the repeater. But when you have to replace, when you are manufacturing are you the talking cable? about one meter, 100 meters, every time you have to cut it. No, there's no pressure. continuous cable, isn't it? The cable is continuous. continuous. Yes, all the cable all is continuous. From to here. Yes, yes, yes. There's so what there is, the cable ship is normally very ah. big, and it has got tons ah. of this cable is coiled okay. into the ship. Okay. So what is as it goes, it just right. releases the cable as it goes. So it's and it's continuous from. So the yes, it's coming from repeater. South Africa. Only to wow. okay. What yes, is that the continuous? The splicing is at the repeater and at what we call the branching units. Ah. Yes. Because when you are branching into Kenya, there is another segment that is going down. So there you have to do some splicing at the branching unit. What you you mentioned... Length, what, is that, the size, uh, what is that length uh, that is continuous? Okay, it varies from country to country and where the branching unit like is. Like these hours here from Tanzania. Okay, from here up to the first branch, up to the branching unit that is coming into Kenya, mm -hmm. it is a span of what, 180 kilometers. Continuous one? Yes. yes. <laughs> so so we'll, we'll, we'll go inside there and then I'll, I'll, I'll show you much, much detail. You, you mentioned about the routing. And you have to replace. Do you replace 180? No, no, no. You only replace the segment that is having a problem. And you only cut like it might be two kilometer cable. So you cut the two bit kilometers, you throw it away, you put another two kilometers. So you splice both sides. So or you join both sides. So why why do you so why do you have this uh, continuous cable rather than having small segments? Okay, the cable the way it is designed, the the, the, the information should flow in a continuous path, you know? Yes. Yes. But, but there are times when you cut and put a segment. We we okay, the segment is defined by a repeater and a branching unit or the segment is defined by a landing station and a branching unit. Wow. So between a branching unit and a station, we call it a segment. It is not where the splicing is. Okay. Otherwise, this cable, when it is spliced, you can also not see where the splicing has happened. Because before they lay it, they do it in the, in the factory. They manufacture a very big role in the factory. Okay. So as they come and lay, and when they reach a branching unit, then they do a splice, then they continue. Which is different yes. from the one you use on land. Yes. Yes. The one you use on land. So we will go into the transmission yeah. room and yeah. uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come again. This one. This, this box, one. Yeah. This, this box. box. This box. Yeah. This box is called a beach joint yeah. or a tripod joint. Yeah. This is where we separate that cable that I've showed you. Yeah. We separate the power cable from the fiber cable. Oh. So there is also some splice being done here. Yes. Because we take another cable, we buy another fiber cable, we come and splice this onto the one that is coming from the sea. So the one that is coming from the seat, yeah, it ends here. Then we bring another fiber cable and we splice onto it. So the one that is brought is the one that is with the C cable system. Is it